Hi, I'm Dr. Russell T. Warren, and I'm an Associate Professor of Psychology at Utah Valley University. I'm also the author of the new psychology book, In the Know, Debunking 35 Myths About Human Intelligence. Each chapter in the book is dedicated to a common but incorrect belief about intelligence or IQ. In this video, I want to give you a countdown of my five favorite chapters. Coming at number five is the chapter on Howard Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences. This is a theory that there is no global intelligence, but rather that the human mind has several intelligences which work independently of one another. Here is a list of those intelligences. Gardner's theory is extremely popular in education, but in the chapter I show how data collected on the different intelligences actually supports the theory of general intelligence instead of Gardner's theory. The chapter also shows how the theory is incoherent and perhaps even unscientific. My fourth favorite chapter is on the topic of the threshold hypothesis. This is an idea that being smarter is beneficial to people, but at a certain point those benefits stop and that having an IQ beyond that point does not provide any additional benefits. In well-designed studies, the threshold hypothesis is not supported. The reality is that there never seems to be a point where being smarter is not more beneficial in life. This image is, is from one of those studies and shows that even within the top 1% of IQ, smarter people earn more money, have more patents, and earn higher degrees. Chapter 7 is my third favorite in the book. It addresses the myth that intelligence is difficult to measure. Actually, over a century of research on testing intelligence has shown that it is one of the easiest psychological traits to measure. In fact, some people have intended to measure other psychological traits, like moral reasoning or health literacy, and accidentally created intelligence tests instead. My second favorite chapter from In the Know discusses the importance of intelligence in everyday life which demolishes the idea that intelligence tests only measure how well someone takes tests. Here is a table from this chapter showing some of the life experiences and outcomes that are correlated with IQ. These range from positive correlations with job performance, longevity, and a sense of humor, to negative correlations with smoking and incarceration. What is most remarkable about this list is that intelligence tests were never created to predict these behaviors or life outcomes, but they do anyway. Clearly, whatever the intelligence tests measure is, some, is something very important in people's everyday lives. Finally, my favorite chapter discusses the cross-cultural nature of intelligence and counters the claim that intelligence is a concept that only makes sense in Western cultures. This chapter discusses how a broad mental ability is present in cultures throughout the world. In particular, I focus on an analysis of data from 31 non-Western countries. The data from these nations produce results that closely resemble what is seen in Western countries like the United States. This is strong evidence that general intelligence is not a unique, culturally bound trait. However, culture is still relevant because the manifestations of intelligence may vary across cultures. This means that psychologists engaging in cross-cultural testing must ensure that the tasks on their tests are culturally relevant and understandable. Those are my five favorite chapters from In the Know, debunking 35 myths about human intelligence. The book discusses these in depth and 30 other myths and is written with a non-expert audience in mind. In the Know is published by Cambridge University Press and is available to order now at the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.